Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Friday. Friday, October 20th, 2017. Thank you for all who are joining me. I, I mentioned the other day that I have to play around with my times and locations again so I can not have the internet act up on me and stop me mid-sentence. Okay, so... I want to ask this question of you this morning, my morning. If nothing changed in any area of your life, if nothing changed, would you be satisfied? Good morning, Shima. Would you be satisfied with where you are right now <clears throat> if nothing were to change? And the reason I ask that is because I was talking with someone earlier uh, this week and we were putting a plan together. <laughs> putting a plan together to, to move her from where she is and she's in a stuck position. Hey, Miss Stevens. Okay, so her response to me was, oh no, that's going to take too long. Mm -mm, that's going to take too long. And, and it made me think about it. <clears throat> I think sometimes we forget that it didn't take, it took time. It took time to get out of shape. It took time to get unhealthy in our bodies. It takes time to <clears throat> have our finances go astray and go awry and just out of control financially. It takes time to erode your professional reputation. Every time you don't deliver on something, your professional reputation is being chipped away. It takes time for marriages. Hey, Donnie. Hey, Jean. It takes time for marriages or relationships to be, to be destroyed, to be broken. Um, and oftentimes, it doesn't take a lot of effort at all. It takes time. It, it, as a matter of fact, it takes little effort. All you have to do is ignore it. Ignore your finances. Ignore your health. Ignore the marriage or the relationships. And without you even putting any real effort, just ignore it. They are going to break down. But the opposite is true if we're going to fix that, if we're going to change that, if we're going to improve it, you are going to have to put the effort in. You're going to have to put the time in. So, again, I've said it before, I'll continue to say it. If you're still stuck on quick and easy, it's not going to change. So the, so the question becomes, if nothing changed, if nothing changed in your life, if it didn't get better, if it didn't improve, if it didn't get, um, if it didn't give you any more sense of hope, if nothing changed, are you prepared to stay right there for the next 30, 40, 50 years? That's the question. Because if you're not satisfied and all you're working on is a hope, well, I'm, I hope it'll get better. I hope things will change. More than likely, they're not going to. And I want I just want to reiterate to you, if anything changes, it is going to be an intentional, it is going to be an intentional act on your part. It is going to have to be deliberate. Okay. You're hoping and a wishing and a, th okay. That is not a plan. That's not a strategy. Hope is necessary. We need it. We can't live without it, but that's not the strategy. So thank you, Mishima. That's the question I'm asking you today. If nothing changed, if you get into a relationship thinking, oh, well, you know, that's just how he acts right now. She just acts like that right now. She's going to change once. Okay. <laughs> okay. Unless you're willing to put the time and the effort and the energy into it, unless you're willing to put the resources in it, unless you're willing to put the blood, sweat, and tears into the change, into the improvement, it's not going to happen. So, so ask yourself in any area of your life, okay, and I'm hoping that psh, I can't live like this for the, I can't live like this for the next month, much less 20, 30 years. If that is your reality, then, then please be willing. Have, have, the, have the sense to know. It don't even take a whole, it don't take a whole lot. You just got to have enough sense to realize unless you are intentionally, deliberately, on purpose, working to change something, it is not going to. 
I promise you it's not going to. And it doesn't matter. Oh, but you don't know how bad this is. You just have no idea how bad this is. I need it to be real bad because most of us, unfortunately, don't move until things get so bad that we can't, we can't live in it anymore. So we ignore all the little signs that, you know, that pop up along life's way that say, um, this is not going to get any better. Don't you realize this is the 15th time that she has told the same lie to you and you continue to fall for it or the little pop-ups throughout life that say, aren't you tired of bill collectors calling you? You, you duck, ducking and diving. Aren't you tired of that happening? Aren't you a little embarrassed that the next time you go to that ATM, you know, they're giving you no funds, no fun. Okay, we ignore all those things, those little pop-ups. You know, when when in that in that relationship, in that marriage, you know, it's not even arguing anymore. And when you stop arguing, that's like a ding, ding, ding. That's a real bad sign. Okay. As long as you're arguing about stuff, you got some life left in you. When you stop arguing, it doesn't even matter anymore. Okay. Absolutely. Little changes make me... Okay. Oh, thank you for saying that. Miss, Miss Cece, thank you. We have to remind ourselves. That's, I'm just here to remind you. I just want to nudge you with the question. Okay. Don't ignore the little things. And, and so that we get to the point, like, I just cannot live like this anymore. But I, I, I work with enough people. I, I, I study people enough to know that sometimes that's what it takes. And so I'm hoping that you are at this point because the alternative is to live like this exist like this for the remainder of how many ever years you got left here. I'm hopeful that that's not good enough. I'm hopeful that that's not sufficient. That's not your expectation of living. And so be prepared, roll your sleeves up and get ready. Good morning, Marcelle. Marcelle, I need to speak to you. Got a couple of questions for you. Um, be prepared. This quick and easy stuff, it wasn't quick and easy while it was breaking down. While you were missing all those signs and, and signals and red star cluster alerts, you missed all that. So now we just got to do the work. Do the work. Whatever area of life that you're not satisfied in, you're going to have to do the work. There's no escape around that. There is no magic bullet. There's nothing that's going to swoop in and, oh, that's all I needed. I guarantee you anything like that that happens is not going to last. Those overnight get rich quick schemes, they don't last. Okay, so if, if I can assist you in your journey on getting bigger and better and doing more and becoming the person that you were designed to be, the person that you dream of, the person that you want to become, um, yes, you did it. <laughs> you did it, Marshall. If, if I can assist you in that manner, then I would love to help you on your journey. I am passionate about helping people live and not just exist. I'm telling you, life is so much better when you live it, especially your life. When you live your life, oh my goodness, that's a, that's a wonderful thing. Even in the hard times, it's still a wonderful thing when you live your life and don't just accept it. When you live your life and don't just, you know, meander through the tulip gardens or when you just don't exist, it's a sweet thing. It is a sweet thing. So... Look me up if I can assist you, Holly at drhollykelly.com. You know, you know when you when you walk into a professional's place, I'm gonna say this and get off here. I took my daughters and some friends and I went to go see the the musical Hamilton um, a few days ago. There is nothing like being in the midst of excellence. I mean pure excellence. It makes you want to do better. It makes you want to hunger for more because you recognize, you know, the, you know, the workplace does not pay for average. There was nothing average about anyone on that stage. I'm talking pure excellence. They are at the top of their game and they brought it. Okay, you know what? I want your name to be at the end of that sentence when people are talking. I happen to be very good at what I do. And that's not a brag of money. That's just my lane. It's, it's my lane. So if I can assist you, um, look me up. If nothing else, ask and answer the question. If nothing changes in, in any area in your life, 
or a specific area of your life, are you willing to accept that for the next 30, 40, 50 years? Okay, only you can answer that question. Until next time, take real good care of yourselves.